to me, he kind of looks like a, a hairless Wookiee. Hey, I'm not one of those hairless furballs. I'm a Lasat. What's up, guys? Nate here. Welcome to Brick Tech. Today, I'm gonna I'm uh, coming at you with another review. I'm gonna be doing this set right here. This is the Ghost. It's uh, set 75053, and it was about $50 when it first came out. This set comes with uh, three minifigures that go inside the ship along with a stormtrooper. And it also comes with turrets, escape pods, uh, flame effects for the engines, the whole nine yards. You can think of it, this ship has it. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first minifigure in this set is a stormtrooper. It's a, uh, I do believe it's new print for the stormtrooper. As you can see, it has um, some, some uh, blue highlights right there on the side of the helmet instead of black ones. Uh, this, the spacing is a little different. Um, this uh, minifigure might seem a little worn out and used because I have had this set for a while. It was like from 2013 or 2014. So I've had a long time. Uh, he has the regular black hips and the uh, black hands and also he comes with this really long sniper rifle. And he has just a regular stormtrooper face with an, um, only one side and no double sided face. Here's a quick 360 degree view of this set. Um, it has very, very, very good build quality. Especially on the plating and stuff that makes, that makes it get its shape. And there is some very good functionality with this set. As with all my large sets, I'm gonna review this from front to back. Probably the most obvious thing that that you see when you look at the front of this set is the big bubble cockpit on the front. Um, it is a turret. The turret on the bottom is built with two black lightsaber blades along with a few other pieces. Uh, it can move up and down and side to side. This bubble cockpit right here also opens up and you just, and there's a minifigure in there, you just pull this out and this whole sub-assembly can come out and that brings us to our second minifigure. Here we have Kanan Jarrus. Um, later, in the later episode, he, uh, it was actually revealed that his name was Caleb Doom, but this was way before, this set was made long before the, um, final season. This was actually made in season one. So, his name on the set is Kanan Jarrus, and he's got his eyes still. He's not, it's not the blind version of him. But, uh, all in all, he's got some very nice print, uh, on his torso and on his legs. Got some straps. He's also got a pistol and a lightsaber. I guess right here, um, his arm right here is a darker green than over here, because right here it sort of looks like a pauldron on his torso. But I don't really understand that. I mean, I get it if that's what it is, but if it's not, I don't really get it. Uh, he also has some pretty nice printing on the back. He also has a double-sided face. The other one was, the other face was a kind of like a happy face. This one's more of a serious face, which I really like that. How you can get sort of like a joking uh, Kanan or a really serious kind of in battle Kanan. To put Kanan on uh, the turret, all you have to do is take off his weapons, fold his arms up, and it, along with his legs, stick him right on, and there you go. Then all you have to do to put him in there is line up the uh, keys with the grooves and slide him on in there, and wait till it clicks. There is a uh, hook at the back and it clicks in place when it's fully in there. There's also storage for Kanan's two weapons. All you have to do is flip this up and put his lightsaber in one side and put his pistol in the other side. Right, you just gotta get it in there the right way. There we go. And flip it back. Moving on to the main cockpit. It does uh, have a sticker right here. Uh, uh, the dome piece is printed, but this part does have a sticker. It can peel up on the sides a little bit, but you flip that open, and then that reveals Hera. Like, you just wiggle her out, 
And that brings us to her. Here we have the pilot of the ghost, uh, Hera Sendula, the daughter of Sham Sendula, the freedom fighter in the Clone Wars. She is a very, very, very good minifigure in my opinion. She has uh, all the print you'll ever need. She has a miniature pistol. Uh, this is an all new mold for her head and helmet. And uh, even on her uh, head tails, as they're called, she has printing there too. Um, not much, but there is a little bit of detailing there. Uh, she also has goggles on her front. She has no... Well, she does have a little bit of printing on the back. And she also has a double-sided face, which is a happy face, just like Kanan had a happy face and a serious face. She has the same thing here. She doesn't have an actual seat in the cockpit, but she does have a, plate, a brown plate and a brown back. And to put her in put Hera in, you just flip her legs up and along with her arms and uh, slide her on in there. Make sure she's nice and snug. And uh, if you want to add, add some detailing, you can go ahead and put, give her the, con the uh, control sticks. The, uh, they can be a bit tricky at times. Let me go ahead and use my little tool to get that one off. Thank you. And, but when you do get them loose, they just flip, flip to, and there she is ready to pilot the ghost. And she does have a little bit of storage in the left side of the ship to put her pistol. You just put it in there and slide it to. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I think that this set is UCS quality. I mean, I mean, look at this. The, the plating is primo. It's amazing. I'm... I've never seen Lego do this on a set up until this set. I don't think they have ever done it on a set since this one. Uh, comment down below if they have and correct me. And quick thing guys, if you want to correct me if I mess up in the video and you don't want to correct me in the comments, feel free to do so. And um, It was a mistake on my part if I do, so go ahead and comment down below, plus it gets more comments gets more traffic to the channel and gets more views and in turn it just helps get all these videos coming at you guys and get more content coming to you so just wanted to let you know right behind the cockpit uh, actually to open this you have to open the cockpit first then you can reach right here behind Hera and flip this open and there is some storage in there I guess you can put another minifigure in there is some room behind where Kanan sits to put a minifigure, I guess you could put Ezra Bridger there, and in, in here, I guess you could put Sabine Wren, or maybe uh, Chopper. On the very top, we have another turret. It's smaller. It, the cannon assembly is the same as on the front, but um, the bubble cockpit is a bit smaller, and it can hold uh, one minifigure. And that brings us to Zeb. And here we have our final minifigure, Zeb, which uh, I believe his full name is Garazeb Aurelios. A very, very kind of dull minifigure. The, uh, on the show, Zeb's uh, coloration was uh, on his skin, it was more light. And he had sleeves, he wasn't armless until the later seasons of the show. I guess this is kind of a precursor to the later seasons, but this version of Zeb had sleeves, and his um, shirt was more of a dull kind of brownish green color, sort of a hunter green color, but um, moving along he also has a beard, some sideburns, a uh, uh, electric baton gun kind of. I'm not sure what kind of species he is. I mean, to me, he kind of looks like a, a hairless Wookiee. Hey, I'm not one of those hairless furballs. I'm a Lassant. This character does have some nice printing on the front as well as on the back. Before you put him in the turret, first you have to take uh, take apart, well, not take apart his weapon. First you have to take off his weapon, like detach it from his hand 
and flip this up once more slide in there with Harris pistol and slide that too and another thing about this set it does utilize storage which I love about this set and it can hand probably if you had all the rebels which I'm only missing one Sabine unfortunately I didn't I don't know what I was thinking not getting the set that had Sabine but it is what it is but if you did have all the rebels I get I, I I'm very very positive that you could fit all of them in the ghost without putting any of them in the phantom but to put him in the cockpit we've already taken off his weapon so first you have to remove the bubble cockpit and just slide him in there with his legs up and his arms down and make sure that the white plate is behind him and just slide it over his head until it clicks in place and just slide it on in there all the way and it can also swivel around 360 degrees this set also has escape pod on either side and the escape pods actually just click in place just grab them on the upper side and on the lower side and pull them out give them a nice tug and they don't actually click together they just hold together with like friction you just pull the top off and there's another seat these are supposed to be escape pods but on the show it wasn't escape pods on the side it was actually airlocks um so i don't really get that but i get i guess they're supposed to be airlocks because i guess they're just meant so you can put another minifigure in there when you do detach the escape pod it reveals these two kind of forks i guess that reveal that um hold it in place or line it up to uh to attach it properly uh correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but i do believe that this is a new piece this one right here and this one i do believe they are new molds uh designed for this set they might uh it does it would make sense to me if they have used them in forklift sets but i do other than that I do believe they are used in this set brand new as a new mold. Here is the back side of the ship. Again, we have that nice plating right there with that can tilt up and down, left, right, all which way but loose. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to mention on the escape pods and right here, they are stickers. I believe the only printed piece in the set is the bubble cockpit on the front for the turret or for the turret rather even this one right here is a print is a uh, sticker but this piece right here can flip up and there are some doors back here here we have the three or four main engines they uh, these right here can rotate a little these right here as well if I can pull these off I can show you guys but this one right here this cone and this Technic piece right here are actually held on by a red lightsaber blade. So I guess the ghost went Sith for a day. One of my favorite, all time favorite things about Lego sets is when Lego takes two sets and makes them combine into one. They've done it with Marvel and in the past with this set in particular they did it with Star Wars. So what you do is you take the, first you have to get the ghost, then you get the phantom. And then what you do is you put the phantom in landing mode, slide it in between the engines, flip this right here up a little, just like that, slide it in there and press it down. Oh, and I shot the missile, whoa. And with the Phantom, it kind of combines all into one, which I really, really, really like. Quick message to you guys, though. Stay tuned for my review of the Phantom. I'm actually about to record it right now. As soon as I get this video wrapped up, I'm going to record the Phantom review. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to to make sure you don't miss that video and to make sure you don't miss any future content either and there is a pretty good play feature on this set it has flick fire missiles 
which I love. All you have to do to fire them is press down on the back. Boom! Goes into oblivion. You can do that on both sides, but I don't want to lose both of my missiles. And there's even more storage in this set. They do give you an extra missile. And to store it, you just flip up this one right here. Slide it in there. Flip it back. On one side of this set, there is a red knob. And that's actually a play feature. You just reach up there. If I can get it, pull it out and it deploys the uh, door or platform I guess and it does have it does reveal a cargo container along with some lights and stuff as with some other Lego sets the cargo t container that it has uh, doesn't have anything to go inside it except maybe a pistol but this one actually has cargo so you just flip the lid off and it, that reveals Kanan's Jedi Holocron, which is some very, very, very good cargo, in my opinion. All in all, guys, this is an amazing, fantastic, I can't come up with enough words that mean good to describe this set. This is, I mean, for $50, you get a UCS grade ship. I mean, it's not UCS, but... It, I don't have the words to describe it. It's amazing. Especially the plating to give it that shape that the ghost had. It just blew my mind when I saw the instructions and they threw that in there. And, I mean, the fact, also the fact that you get two new molds in Zeb and uh, Hera. It just blows my mind. And you can even combine, take another set and combine it with this one and just put it on, slap it on the back. It, it's a very, very good set. But, uh, I, I'm, like I said, it's $50. If Guys, if you can, if you can pick this up, guys, do so immediately. If it's within your budget, get it. And if, and also get the Phantom. Because, just having the phantom on the back makes a whole difference. I mean, with with the ghost, one downside I have with ghost though, it has a big empty spot, but I don't, it's not that big of a deal for me because I have the phantom, and when I'm storing it, I just slap it on the back. But this was like one of the very first Lego sets I ever got, and it's very special to me because of that. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. If you want to, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell down in the description below. And I'll see you next time on Brick Tech. Bye-bye.